there you see the flying cat. You will see if she will supervise my work again. As I said previously in the first video, English is not my first language, so please bear with me somehow. I need to say something. Uh, my friends and uh, family, after watching the video, they weren't very happy, so I need to make amendment. I'm not only playing, I'm painting, I'm drawing, I'm making tattoos, I'm even selling some art, but just not watercolors. I'm not there yet. Maybe someday soon we will see. Okay, so uh, that's a video about uh, watercolor set. This time we will check it uh, on another different watercolor paper. The set is 12 watercolors, both in Lidl, here in Greece. Price 3.99 euros. The set looks like that. Last time we were checking it uh, on uh, Dale Rowney cold press paper. This time it will be hot press. I will show you. This one. So the price where the tubes are 12 milliliters. Uh, they don't have uh, the color names, they only have uh, numbers. And we will use the same chart as uh, previously, which looks like that. That's a Crelando. Information about the paper. Here the numbers of the colors. You see the black square here. We'll try to check the transparency of the watercolors. I will speed up the part uh, when I'm actually putting the paint and then I will say what I think about them. So, let's start. <laughs>
Okay, so that's it. We have all colors, 12. On this kind of paper, hot pressed, they are acting a bit different. Although I was also putting today uh, a bit more water after the previous experience. So I would say that uh, you also can see that that this time they were more eager to cooperate with the water and let's say go with the flow. Now we will wait for them to dry and uh, we'll check them again. So the paints are uh, completely dry now. You can see the colors. I need to say that uh, with a bit uh, more of water on this paper, they were behaving uh, nicer. They were uh, even mixing a bit with the water, as you see, some of the colors. But on the other hand, they were granulating a bit. The white coat that uh, I noticed after drying the first time, it's there. I don't like it. What else can I say? I can compare one paper to the other with this paint and definitely I would say that to be better with those watercolors to use uh, the hot press. They came out nicer. Here you see the comparison on both papers, on right side cold press, left side hot pressed. So my advice if you are using uh, this set of paint, it will be better to use the hot press paper, they are acting a bit better with the water, with the bigger amount of water. So as a summary, I will not buy those paints again, probably I will uh, give them back to some kids to play. I also left them uh, on the palette when I was using them uh, for the first time and the next day they of course cracked, but uh, for example white paint became dust so i will not make a box with them uh, to go outside and paint so no we will not have a love affair with these ones that's it for now thank you for having me see you next time